Hey everyone, Nick here again, back to talk about American Idol, the results from last night, the top three results. And, uh, long story short, I got the finale I wanted. Philip versus Jessica. Joshua went home. Uh, you know what, I'm... In spite of how much this season has irked me, I think this is the right final, too. I think, actually, this, this might have been the final two that I predicted... In the beginning. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'd have to look into that. But, uh, either way, I, I like this as the final two. Philip and Jessica. Philsica. Jessup. Eh. Philsica. Definitely Philsica. Uh, so, Idol's a day earlier next week. It's on Tuesday, and the results are on Wednesday, so, in case you didn't know that, you're welcome. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. I, don't really have much else to say. Joshua went home, and I'm actually sort of disappointed that at the judge's reaction to him going home. I wanted to see him cry. <laughs> I really did. I wanted them to feel the pain they've been making me feel all season with their stupid criticisms. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, they, they gave him another standing ovation as he was eliminated. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> um... Uh, next week, the show's only an hour. Well, the, the performance show's only an hour, but of course the results show is going to be two hours. It's just going to be like a huge event. We've got millions of performers performing. Yeah, performers are performing. <laughs> Go figure. Thirteen performers performing. Twelve maids and... <laughs> Sorry. That was a bad joke. Uh, so, yeah. It's still going to be three hours next week, just two hours for the results instead. Uh, I'm, I'm not really saying anything important, am I? Just, uh... Wait. Hold on. Actually, there's one thing I want to say. It's about the judges. Uh... Actually, specifically, America's Got Talent. One of their judges. Uh, Howard Stern. Now, this guy's, like, a legendary D-bag. Like, he's probably the second most awful human being on the radio after Rush Limbaugh, okay? Like, I tuned in to America's Got Talent just to see how evil he was, and to my absolute amazement, he was a great judge. He was honest, but he, he was nice, too. I didn't expect it from him. How, Howard Stern, the most, one of the most despicable human beings alive, is actually kind of a great guy. Go figure. I, the judges on Idol should hang their heads in shame. Howard Stern is a better judge than they are. Ouch. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I really want to say. I, I meant to say that the other night, but... Or last night. But, yeah, just... Uh... Yes, that's what I thought of the results. And when I think of the judges, I think Howard Stern is better than them. They should cry about that for sure. Uh, Philip and Jessica will be competing the finale next week. And uh, Wednesday, one of them will be called the winner. And uh, I I still think it's going to be Philip. But I have noticed a lot of like little conspiracy theories online. Like, uh... One of them, the first person to get through to the finale for the last three years, Scotty McCreary, Lita Wise, Chris Allen, they ended up winning. Jessica got through to the finale before Philip did, so... But, on top of that, a girl hasn't won in five years now. Jordan Sparks, 2007. Season 6, she was the last girl to win. But, uh... So I have no idea what's going to happen next week. I really don't. All I can say is, uh, I'll be, I'll be watching. As as for if I'm going to be watching next season, I haven't really decided yet. If Jennifer Lopez does leave, I'll definitely watch because she's the worst in my opinion. So yeah, uh, again, that's what I thought of the results. I've been rambling and rambling and rambling, so I'll get out of here before I say anything else that wastes your time. And I'll see you next week with my thoughts on the performance show. See ya.